morning guys. People, Family Tradition Hunting Club. Dwindling down on the days on my vacation. Gotta go back to work next week, and then I'll be off the week of New Year's. So, uh, we're gonna get out of here in just a few minutes. Kids had a half a day of school today, so I figured we wouldn't send the grandkids. So I got all them with me. There's Dawson, and Bentley, and I'll back there laying down. So, I'm going to check something we've been working on all week. See if we can uh, maybe get on him. So, y'all stay tuned. We're going to get at it. All right, baby, ready to go. Let's see if we can't find him. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Hey, hush all that up. Smell that song. She smells it. I put about six in there. What do we got? Three? I'd put about six. Come here, Abby. Trixie. Abby. Mm. I'm probably gonna hold Sprite and Smiley for when he crosses. Cause if he crosses ahead of them dogs, I'm gonna put some smoke on it. I'm the only one I got left. That's all I'm gonna put on. guys we got a chilly morning we've been at it all week we have run piles and piles of deer this week we've run a few bucks got away from us it's only been two trucks two to three trucks and it's just hard to get in front of deer whenever you got that small group of guys but uh it's still fun guys We'll get us one sooner or later. Beautiful morning. Other than the wind blowing again, we had one day where the wind laid down. Watch on the direction and reset yourself. I wouldn't be too far up Buck Siding right now. They favoring over here. They could go right back to where we dumped them. Got them running in circles right here. That's letting these low timbers.
Yeah, get on that corner where we put them out real quick, Dalen. They go into that corner. Get ready. Get in front of the truth. Getting ready to come out. Take your gun off safety. You wait until I tell you to shoot, you got the vent. You got to shoot it, wait until he's on that side of the road to shoot. Get up there with him, Dawson. Get up there with him. Whenever he hits the middle of the road, y'all can shoot when he hits the, the ditch on the other side. I can't shoot because Dalen's down the road from me. Smoking. <laughs> Sound like he was supposed to come right here. He's right on top of Joey. There's a buck hanging out right here. What'd you say? Come back down the buck's head and go back to the east. Alright, Dale and Switch, run down there with him. I'll be down there behind y'all. I'm going to sit right here in case he doubles back. Yeah, we uh, just put out. <clears throat> they jumped probably five minutes after we got him in there. But uh, I was coming out here the other day. Right there where he's at, there was a big deer standing there. And I was just like you, sun in my face. So I come back the next day and look where he was. That's a big old foot. Yeah. And yesterday I was pulling up through here. Hurry up, Dalen, because I got to leave books wide open. And uh, pulled up there to the intersection, had my rifle laying there, and there was one standing there looking at me. I had to. It was old big doe. Yes, they were walking good yesterday. They should walk good today. Well, we going to put. We gonna, this is what we harassing today, these chops. we we going to stay in these blocks here it's cold and they like to get out there now oh, yeah. so there was a little buck hanging out just that side buck side right here i always see them right there at the stop sign yeah well heading here was probably oh they're coming back just like i thought thought been knocked off of it beat around you know, i didn't realize they come around there, seen that one standing down there at that darn pond, broadside, out of shells. Yeah. yeah. I not tried to box shells, but they was done from a damn 220, uh, I keep three in my pocket from now on. Yeah. Because I'm always running out. <laughs>
I'm looking at the deer, y'all. Y'all stay ready now. It ran right back into the dog. Tone them as a doe. Hey, somebody just went by the deer, didn't they? So whoever's going down the road just went by the dogs. Oh my God, he's coming back to us. Look out, Jay, get in the truck. Just go on this low stand. Deer's head straight for the creek. Ain't nobody over there on the oil well. On the road, deer's in the road. Big deer trying to catch up to him. Big deer on the road. Hold on, boys. It's a buck. It's a buck. Get over to the other road. Going up the oil well. Nephew Rose is hitting a pop out on the road right there by somewhere. It's a good four point, four or five point. Y'all get over to the next road, Mr. Robert. Go. 
Come on, 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 here, here, here. Ah, hey. All right, I just re dogged him, re dogged him. Where are you at, Mr. Robert? I'm on both sides. Go on down to the next road over. Yeah, I am. I didn't see the horns on them. I did. I didn't. They were about that tall. I was videoing it. I just saw the tail. I didn't see it no more. I'm out of about where that four-point come out. I think this is where down low right there. Right. I got it. All right, Sprite and them's on him now. Y'all get ahead of them dogs. I put the pepper on him now. What's going I know where to get. I mean, he's on. As soon as I find him, I know where to say Four point come out, I think, didn't he? We're down low. Right there? No. Yeah, I, right, right, right. I got him. Right, where me and Bubba were sitting. I'm going to go and kill him right there behind us, dude. Put the pepper on him, man. That's good. I know where to get. Billy, if he's moving past him about six inches in front of him. I mean, he's off. As soon as I find him, I know where to say. Right here. We ain't got nothing but a bowl to be shooting there. Get out. Just get ready. Come on by. He's gonna bust out right here and I'm telling you. He's fine. He's gonna bust out right here, I'm telling y'all boys, get ready. Make it sound like a war. Hey, as soon as you see the deer, you shoot. We know they on a buck. No deer ain't come out yet. I've waved, waved him by, man. I'm down right here where you shot your four. Probably gonna come down this ditch. There you go. All right, boy, let's go. Come on. Get your shell. Let's go. Go back here behind me. We throw the lead. We throw the lead. We throw the lead. It went south. Mm. My fingers crack. After that first shot at James, I was just shocking shells. Don't get anything on him? I don't know, boy. We throwing all kind of lead down there. Hey, my boo, we'll go back in. All right, Mr. Robert, you know where he's going to cross up there where that dude did. Get up there where that dough was across 
No one. All right, guys. Whoo! This ain't took us for a run. Y'all gonna like this, so let my nephew get on it with y'all. Cause we throwed some lead at him. So uh y'all take take him, let him do the talk to you. Alright guys, it's the hardest buck kill I've ever had to be on. Come on, Smiley. Come this deer wasn't coming out of the creek. There was dogs on both sides of the creek. One dog on his head and three dogs on each side of the creek keeping him out to keep him from getting back up on the hill. Bring my phone, bud. He swam by me. When you get dogs, and I let him clear the dogs and I put one in his neck. Oh man. That was a fun kill right there. Shot him in the foot the first time. Yeah, he got hit right here too. He got hit right there in the shoulder. Yeah, that was from us. <laughs> from me and them grand boys. <laughs> Probably the foot's where I hit him at you over there. Him, he was limping when he come out and yeah. me grand boys hit him up there. Yep. Well, I did. That's probably mine because I don't think that 20 bucks would make it. Oh, my God. I wouldn't care, boys. He could be a big old rack buck. And I can tell you right now, ain't no more satisfying kill than that. Right in front of these dogs too, especially some puppies. These dogs was hammering on him. They was relentless. And here he is, guys. I am cut up. I got cut scrapes. If you really want to get after a deer and kill your deer, you after. Oh, you do it. I, my face, I'm Jesus. sure, is tore up. Daylon. Come help me, bud. Lost my little handheld radio in the woods. I told you on the radio you didn't hear it go off. I, I don't even know if I had it on because I turned it off. All the chatter was going on, well, so I, I just cut it off. I can tell you right now probably where it's at. It's probably in that water when you were waist deep. No, I lost it somewhere because I was trying to call y'all when I killed him. When I had him in the creek is when I was going to call you because I had him dead to rights. He wasn't going nowhere. There wasn't nothing I could do. I was having to get dog. We had dogs scattered so damn far. This called for... This called for a yangling, I can tell you. I got this one This called for a Bud Light on the way to the house. <laughs> All that I'm going to get the truck pulled down here. Let's see what uh see what we got here. Get all the dogs back together. We'll get back with y'all soon, guys. Alright guys. I'll try to set the story straight on that one. I was excited earlier, so try to give you a run down of how that worked out, but we've been trying to get after that buck probably three days out of five. We found him and He's got away from us a couple times. He was trying to get away from us today, and he would have, hadn't I moved to this road. But you'll see it on the video when I caught him in the road standing there looking. Man, these things are slick. They've been doing it to us all week. They know right where we at, and they know where to go. But thank God we trained these dogs this, this summer. They were relentless on getting after this deer. When I first seen him, I chased him up the road and got him to the side of the road and I shot four times and uh, I couldn't tell if I hit him or not but when they said he come across the road on the second time Uncle Joy and Dawson and Bentley finally got to shoot at his first buck there was uh, evidence of other uh, pellets hitting him other than mine um, but we had him limping around but he was still plenty he had plenty left we got him over down in a creek, and uh, he swam down the creek. The dogs, they just stayed with him the whole way and finally just surrounded him, and they just kept him swimming. And um, I had to go in through some thick brush, and, man, it cut me up. I'm cut up all over the place. But it was worth it. I got down to the creek, and that was uh, probably the best sight I've ever seen, you know, firsthand. I've seen people on TV do it, and... I've seen, I've heard other dog hunters doing that, but I got down there, I think we had like seven dogs out on this particular deer. And uh, Uncle Joey's dog, Cletus, was right on his back, basically right on his back, reaching for his, his horns, and uh, the deer would keep hooking him, throwing them horns back in him. Two dogs was on the other side of him, off to the left, and three dogs on the right, so he swam straight back to me. I didn't have time to grab my camera. The battery went dead or I'd have videoed that, guys. It was, that was, that was awesome. It was awesome. But, uh, it ended up good, guys. We got the buck. And, uh, I let one go earlier this week. Hoping I'd get me a little bit bigger buck this week. But, still ain't the one I wish for. But, that's how it played out. 
let Uncle Joel have a shot at that last one. But uh, it's all fun, guys. We have ran some deer this week. I need a break. After taking a week's vacation, I probably hey, need one just to lay up. Last 30 we got one dog out there that didn't like that gun going off. It was two or three of them that didn't care for that. And they spooked off, but all the rest of them stayed in there. They wanted some of that deer. We got him, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll get back with you guys on some more hunts. Thanks for watching.